All right, today we're going to show you how to install the Super USB Wi-Fi Antenna 3 on a Windows 7 laptop computer. So I have the Super USB Wi-Fi Antenna 3 from C Crane Company, and it's a Wi-Fi antenna that you can put in the window, and you can get reception from all around up to one mile away. Wi-Fi antenna up to one mile. So it's pretty neat. It has a long cable and uh, you can see it has suction cups that go up in the window. Um, all kinds of good specs there. Maximum uh, power allowed by FCC. So I don't think it can get any better than that. Opening the box we have our user manual, quick start guide, uh, driver software. If um, you don't have an internet connection when you plug it in for the first time, then uh, you're going to want to use the driver software, but we're going to show you two ways to install it. It's also an assembly guide. helps you understand what the wires are and um, other ways to connect and hold up the antenna. The antenna's here, and we're just going to pull off the plastic. See, it's nice and shiny, and it has just a little USB connection on the bottom. The cable is in there, nice long cable. And it has two ends. Uh, one end is extra power in case you need it, but you can just use one if you want, which is going to be this one. This is the end that plugs into the antenna, and it just plugs right in like that. In the bag here you have the suction cups which slide over the top of the antenna and some uh, I think it's velcro, a zip tie, a lanyard and some water uh, tight couplings that you can put between the cord and the uh, the antenna. So real quick we're just going to show you that we are currently connected to the internet with the internal Wi-Fi of this computer and you can see that it can see a few internet sites from here. Um, about that many. So we don't have any trouble receiving internet here. But we're just going to go ahead and install it the easiest way possible. And that is when you have an internet connection. After that, you don't need to install it anymore. You're done and you can just use the antenna anywhere you want. Okay, so now we're gonna plug it in and uh, hook it up to the internet. You'll see that all you have to do is plug it in and Windows 7, if you're connected to the internet like we are, it'll automatically uh, install the drivers for you without having to insert the CD. And you don't have to touch anything. You just got to wait. Wait patiently. And then it should be successfully installed. Driver software installed successfully. So now you're ready to go you'll see that the light will begin to flash and it'll flash blue to show the uh, status that it's connected to the computer and red just to show that uh, it's there. Uh, when you're actually browsing on the internet the red will flash more often. But the antenna is currently not connected to the internet just the internal Wi-Fi so we're gonna go ahead and hook up to the internet now. You're gonna click on this little icon and you're going to get this pop up. You'll see that wireless network connection is on top and that represents uh, your internal Wi-Fi connection. If you're looking for the one for the antenna, it'll have like a number after it like wireless connection 2 or 3 or 4. Um, you'll see that we propped up the antenna over here to uh, allow more reception. The optimal position is in an upright vertical position and if you use the suction cups and put it in the window it'll work really really good. Especially if you're receiving from outside. We're gonna scroll down this list using the scroll bar right here and look for wireless connection 
wireless wireless network connection for. And the one we want to connect to is across the street, um, actually about a block away, and it's called 2Wire367. I'm going to click on it and then click connect, and I'm going to type in my password. Oops. And it should connect. You'll see that it'll stop spinning when it's connected. If I click on this again, again, this is our internal wireless connection, which is connected. If we scroll down the list, you'll see that we're also connected with the super Wi-Fi antenna. You'll also see that um, in its current location, uh, the internal Wi-Fi has three bars for 2Wire 367. And coming down, the Super has uh, four bars and many more uh, connections coming on down. Of course, uh, the antenna is right close to the computer. If we put it in the window, you'll see those triple. But what we're going to do for this is we're just going to turn off the internal Wi-Fi. So I'm going to click my switch on my computer or you can uh, click a keyboard button. I don't remember which one it is on here, but usually you can hold down like the FM button and hit a, a certain Wi-Fi off. But if you know how to turn it off, then great. That's what we did. So now when we click on this little icon, we only see wireless network connection four, and it's connected. So if we can get on the internet, it's because of the super Wi-Fi antenna three. And there we go, we're on the internet. We're gonna browse a little bit. Let's see if it's working. It seems to be working pretty good, pretty fast. And there's no problems there. The second way I'm going to show you to install the antenna is to use the CD. And for this, we're just going to pop in the CD. should start automatically. After a few moments. And again, this would be for if you have Windows XP or Windows Vista um, and so on, Windows 2000. And you're just going to click Run Auto EXE. You're going to click on the top one, Driver Installation. take a moment to start here and you might get this little window down here flashing thing you click on it and it's going to say do you want to allow this program you're going to click yes now you're going to get the do you accept the agreement and after you read it you're going to click I accept and hit next. At this point you get a choice uh, to, to install the whole utility which is a program which you can uh, use the antenna as a repeater and have other functionality uh, more for advanced users. For just the basic stuff you just click install driver only and click next. And then over here you're going to click install And it'll take a moment to install. Okay, we've completed successfully. We're going to come down and click Finish, and then click Exit, and we're done. And again, if you don't have internet, you're going to use the CD. If you do, the easiest way is like we did before, just plug in when you have an internet connection. All right, and we are on the internet. Now you can see that we're connected across the street and our signal strength is pretty good. 
also we have we have the ability to see a lot of other networks that are out there and we have the antenna in the window and that's why and you want to place it high up in the center of the window if possible and that'll give you the most reception from outside of the house all right and that's it hope you enjoy your antenna if you decide to purchase one